Should we begin? Are we, are we good? Time? I don't have a watch. Who's you know. Moderating? Anyone have a right? It's, a watch? it's five past. Oh, hey. Perfect. Even better. Right. Uh, good evening and welcome to the zombie panel. Uh, I'm John Langan. I will be your moderator, uh, which basically means I'll just uh, ask these brilliant, brilliant people to introduce themselves. I'll ask uh, a brief question and then shut up. Um, so why don't you guys uh, start and just go across and Apparently tell us who I you are. Start. I'm Shannon McGuire. Hello. Uh, I just finished writing a zombie novel, so apparently that qualifies me to talk about dead stuff. But I've seen every single zombie movie ever made except for Hysterical, which I looked at and didn't think was appealing. Uh, can sing, it's pretty bad. Yeah, can yeah. sing the entire score of Evil Dead the Musical, and in the middle of recording an album called Red Roses and Dead Things, which includes many songs about zombies and sex, and I've been assured that this will get me therapy someday, <laughs> uh, and saw James Gunn's Slither 17 times in the theater. So, dead stuff, I'm good with the dead stuff. I feel like such an underachiever <laughs> in the same panel as you. I got nothing. Yeah. Um, I was stitched together from carefully assembled parts about 26 years ago by my father who worked at Mass General Hospital, but was expelled due to a mysterious lightning incident that never made the globe. But you know, you, you get to hear about this. My name is Sonia Tafe. I'm a writer of short fiction and poetry. Uh, my sole qualification with this panel is I own a stiff kitten t-shirt, and I'm a representative member of the audience that had never seen a zombie movie but thought Shaun of the Dead was hilarious. <laughs> this is, however, only my cover story. Anybody who wants to hear about the reanimation can talk to me later. <laughs> I'm sitting right next to her, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh... I'm Michael Swanwick. My qualification is that I wrote a, um, a, a zombie story once. <laughs> I, uh, that was when uh, Jim Turner was still alive. He was my favorite editor in the world. And he would call up and say, say listen, Swanwick, I can't talk long. Just, I have one question. And, uh, and you, and oh, I I could keep him on for like three hours. And the only thing and and he's about the only person I would I, I wanted to talk on the phone to for three hours, and I would keep him on until basically bladder problems caused me to have to, to give up. Uh, but he called up and said, "Swan, I just want to talk to you for just a minute. I don't have any time for your nonsense." And I said, "I said I said I just wrote a, a zombie story, uh, um, Jim." And he said, ah, "Yeah, that's a nice one." And he goes and talks a little bit and I said, you know, it was a, a, a really good zombie story to me. He said, yeah, 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 that's nice. I said, you know, I like it so much I gave it a really good title, Jim. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. Said, don't you want to know what the title was, Jim? And he said, all right, Swanick, what was the title of your zombie story? And I said, I called it The Dead. <laughs> and he said, he said, he said, you cannot give the title, the single most famous story in the English language to a zombie story? <laughs> well, it was a really good zombie story. <laughs> and I've now used up all my, 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 my great A material. So. <laughs> I'm Bob Eggleton. Uh, you'll have to um, forgive me a little bit if my voice fades out. I've got a bit of a sort of a throat laryngitis thing going on here. But uh, I... I do horror paintings. Uh, I've worked uh, for uh, books and such that have zombies involved with them. A lot of my favorite movies involve zombies. Uh, last year's Planet Terror was a lot of fun. Um, if anybody saw that, um, and uh, yeah, so that's my thing on that's my thing on zombies. Okay, so so here's the the sort of the setup from the description of the of the panel that uh, that I'm sure you all read. Um, it sounds as if what we're talking about is sort of the post-George Romero zombie, right? so sort of post-Night of the Living Dead. Uh, so what, what is Night of the Living Dead, 1968? 68, yeah. Someone, yeah, okay. It, uh, and, uh, and which has spawned, you know, the Evil Dead and musicals and 28 Days Later and Return you guys, of the, the Return Dead. of the Living Dead. <laughs> Marvel Zombies. Diary of the Dead. Marvel Zombies, which I enjoyed more than I should have. Um, <laughs> my wife and son got me a little zombie Spider-Man for Christmas. Um, it, uh, it was good. <laughs> He's four and a half. My son, not the zombie spider. <laughs> uh, <coughs> they both uh, four and a half. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> um, this is, you know, and, and we've seen uh, um, an unholy rising, dare I say, in, uh, in zombie fiction now, in about the last, uh, maybe, what, since the turn of the millennium, certainly think about Dave Wellington's uh, zombie trilogy. Uh, Kim Paffenroth has written a zombie novel. He's also written, I, I think, a, a more interesting study of, of zombies, uh, Gospel of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. um, 
And uh, who am I forgetting? Max Brooks, World Max War Brooks, Z, yeah. right? King finally um, did zombies. King Douglas. did, uh, yes, Sal, Sal, I guess, is kind of a... Uh, well, it's, it's supposedly... A fast zombie, zombie novel. novel. It's, a, it's, a, right? it's a fast zombie novel. <coughs> right. uh, Clegg did his zombie stuff. Uh, which was quite nice. Ketchum did all of his zombie shorts. Okay, so so we're th you know in a, in a way when we <laughs> it, uh, you don't want to put those on um, when you so we're thinking about um, and, and Robert Kirkman, The Walking Dead series, right? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, hmm? yes, absolutely. There's uh, so so this seems to be the way that we're thinking about the zombie right now. Although there are some exceptions, uh, Andy Duncan's story. Uh, Zora, what is it, Zora and the Zombie? Zora and the Zombie. Right? Uh, which, which is interested much more in sort of traditional Haitian uh, views of the zombie. Um, our own dear Hannah Wolf Bowen's Everything's Better with Zombies. Uh, is there a zombie in that story? You decide. It, uh, so I'll throw it open to you guys and just let you uh, see what you think about this current incarnation of the zombie, so to speak. Um, it, uh, has zombie fiction already run its course? Yes. No. But maybe not. <laughs> I was talking to somebody today who had the, uh, I thought, intriguing theory that what happened was that the ecological niche that used to be filled by vampires mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for these creepy, almost unstoppable, awful, scary things was empty when the vampires, you know, got put on the Armani suits and, and, <laughs> yeah. and mm -hmm. began you know, pra practicing tantric sex, and, you know, and and. And, and, and yes, so there was, yes. a, there was a, an emptiness, and the zombies moved in, or <laughs> shambled into that yeah. space. The earliest uh, vampire movies, Nosferatu, that whole group, you mm. can actually class them as zombie movies by what we consider those various monsters to be today. Mm. They're called vampire movies because they were about vampires at the time, but if someone described a vampire of that time to someone who didn't have the context, well, that's totally a zombie. It's, it's horrible and dead, and it comes in the night, and it eats you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's kind of the same niche, actually, as uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, mm -hmm. in that you recognize it. You know, this should be someone you know. It has the same mm. face. They should remember you. You know, they're your family. You should be able to trust them. And instead, you wind up having to blow their head off with a shotgun because That's they're not you know, the person. Yeah, you know, I mean, okay, that can happen in other contexts as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, zombies are the zombies are the things that you know look like they should be your near and dear and are trying to kill you. Oh, and and like if you apply that non metaphorically, it's pretty, you know, pretty scary. What is? Uh, no, you go. You go. No, oh, I was going to say, you know, it occurred to me right now that one the one of the things that's most appealing about the zombies was that you can mow them down like uh, like the scum that they are, and you just sit there like a doom. You can go shooting, you know, zombie like after zombie blade. after zombie, right, helicopter right, exactly, blade yeah. through them, basically anything. Your absolute worst uh, 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 impulses, you can do it to a zombie. They're made of rubber. They don't feel anything. They're like Dumbo, you know? <laughs> no, they explode in spectacular ways. And, and they explode. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what's nice about it. So them. it's like they're, 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 they were made to be video game fodder. You don't have, have people fighting armies of, 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 of corporate vampires. You know, it's always the, the zombies. There's a fabulous video game came out fairly recently called Dead Rising, where you can use anything you find in an entire mall to kill zombies, and they have various awards for killing the most zombies in a certain mm -hmm. time period. Can you kill everyone that lived in this town before the zombies came? Can you get me to put the controller down and stop chainsawing zombies so that we can have dinner at <laughs> 2 in the morning? Sean and we'd all like to sleep. <laughs> no, you cannot kill the zombie with, okay, I guess you can kill the zombie with that. And it's a great game, uh, really very fun. I think what happened too is the, the, the rise of it and just like what's been saying, everything's zombified. I mean, you have blockbuster films like I Am Legend, you have 28 Days Later, 28 Weeks Later, at least film Planet Terror. These, it's really took off in, the, in the, the popular culture because I 